Welcome to another installment of Media Mesh, where I give my unapologetic opinion on everything from music, movies, news, reality TV, all in five minutes or less. Be sure to check my playlist for raw, uncut commentary on some of your favorite shows, such as Love After Lockup, put a ring on it, and Ready to Love. Now let's get into some mess. I know the show's called Mesh, but this is some mess. Uh, Jada Pinkett Smith never wanted to marry Will Smith. Cried on their wedding day. This is a shame. I, I mean, it's just poor Will. It doesn't get any better. He can't catch a break. You know, from the letter from Willow writing to Tupac, you know, come back so her mom could be happy. What kind of garbage is that? And, you know, Jada should be ashamed of herself for even confiding in a young child about you loving someone else outside of her father. That's a whole nother story. But with this garbage, you know, she admits she didn't really want to get married to Will Smith. So the obvious question becomes, well, why in the world did you ever get involved with him? If you didn't, if you didn't like him, he wasn't feeling him. What was it? Was it the fact that he was a star and you saw his trajectory going to the moon? Did you see that you would be able to benefit from this union? So you were willing to compromise your happiness? And then, so you're having sex with him. You have two kids, but you never loved this man. So you had an open marriage the whole time. You publicized it. And now you just continue to add flames to the fire. I'm not sure why Will is still in this situation. Allegedly, he has a lot of other stuff that's going on. And so it won't be a matter of him filing for divorce. It would have to come when she says it's time because she apparently has some dirt on him but we ain't going too far into that i ain't trying to get into no lawsuit type situation but i'm just saying this is a shame um you should have never married this guy yeah she said we only got married because gammy was crying it was almost as if gammy was like you have to get married so let's talk about the wedding said jd pinkett you know i remember feeling very strongly and wanting you guys to be married that's what the mother said and it's like you know, don't waste anyone's time and especially don't waste your own time. If you know that you do not love someone, don't drag them into this mess. And if you are, you know, if you are going to do it, just keep it to yourself. Keep it quiet. This Red Table talk show has been a sounding board against Will Smith. Every grievance and every issue and problem that you had. You make it public on this talk show as if he does not live in the same house with you. There's certain guidelines and respect that you should have for your spouse. Even people who are running around, they try to hide it. You know, they don't make it public. Throw it in your face. Like, And then, of course, he gets in all this trouble uh, for going up there smacking Chris. Me, personally, I believe a few things. I believe either it was fake or staged. A lot of people don't agree with that. A lot of people believe it was real. So you can let me know in the comments what you think. But at the same time, I think if it was real, for whatever reason, he felt by looking at her face that she wanted him to do something. Because she probably like, well, Tupac would have did something. All these other guys I kicked it with before would have did something. What you going to do? But, I mean, this alopecia is not leukemia. OK, that's two different things because people lose their hair, of course, due to leukemia. But this is alopecia. It's not a death sentence. She's been rocking this bald hair for a long time. And as many people have said before, I'm going to say this. If Will was going to slap anybody, it should have been August Alcina for, for sleeping with your wife. So maybe he has misplaced anger here. It could be. I don't know. But at this point, I think this marriage has come to a close. So I don't know who's going to say the words first, but I think it's just best because she is just continually to embarrass her man, uh, putting him out there in a negative light. He already can't go to the Academy Awards, whatever that garbage is for 10 years. Like that's punishment. Then you have somebody talking about that he needs to give his Oscar back. Well, if that's the case, does Harvey Weinstein and all these other people that's been um, accused and convicted of actual sexual assault, do they have to give theirs back? I don't know. Let me know in the comments and make sure, hey, listen, 
Go check out the playlist for raw uncut commentary on Love After Lockup. Put a ring on it.